All right, so I'm here with Matthew Allison, a legendary skateboarder and a library manager uh, at Peninsula at Queens Library. Uh, so t tell us what uh, what you've done, what you're up to, and what you're all about. Okay, well, I've, uh, I started, I wrote a first draft of a novel in 2013 or 14. So I've had this concept for a while. And basically, I did it wrong the first time. I just wrote a first draft. I shared it too soon. I tried to write an erotica book, but even erotica has like a romance to it, like a, you know, a plot line and stuff. I just simply had skate scene, sex scene, skate scene, sex scene. That's not how you write a book. So anyway, many versions later, um, I'm, you know, excited that I'm actually going to take a screenwriting class at Gotham Writers starting October. So I'm going to try to turn it into a screenplay. And I won't say who, but it's, it's one of the New Way members. I'm hoping to collaborate on a screenplay with them. So it's going to be exciting. And um, some people ask why my focus for my books are skateboarding. But the reason is, like, I love skateboarding. I've done it since I was 11 or so. Um, right now, I'm an intermediate skater. But each time I, I'm injured or something, I feel like I'm something taken away from me and I won't do it I won't quit but like the injuries do get annoying and also I met a great group of skaters in New York and everywhere I go if I'm skating I meet a great group of people and I think skaters really live in the moment compared to other people you kind of have to you know like like you know skating all day with your friends and then going to a bar and doing whatever it's just it's just a really unique and good experience yeah it makes sense. and um yeah and yeah, right now is an exciting time. I, I started uh, well, with work. I'm doing a classics book club, and that's been really good. It's a dynamic thing. It's a virtual book club. We made it twice a week, uh, no, twice a month, and uh, it's it's really been good for me to read a lot of the shorter classics. Um, that's been good, and also I've been getting the art. I never thought, like in my mid forties, I would have a new hobby but I, I started doing doodles during the pandemic um, i have a great little notebook that mostly from 2020 with the coronavirus pandemic i have it like part diary part memoir and and, and uh and just doodles so, i mean i don't know if i could sell that but i don't know maybe i'll have some of them look at it one of these days but and also in the rockways where i live and work um i'd like to give a shout out to the hashtag i think it's just order vision I think it's O-R-D-E-R-V-I-S-I-O-N. They have free art classes Monday nights down there. And it's just really neat to learn how to paint because well, with painting, I've always been afraid of painting compared to drawing because mixing the colors is kind of confusing, but I'm really enjoying it. So I think it's a really, I think things are going to get better and I think it's a, an exciting time. So any other questions or? No, I mean, if, if you want to talk more about your work, you can, but otherwise, um, you know. Uh, let's keep it short. Okay. Okay, Sounds thanks, Tejas. You're the best.